No more squinting. You can put your ruler away. Vince, I heard you talking about set of blocks today. That's right. Contrary to popular belief, I do not have these. So, exactly, what, you, exactly. You, what was that? You don't have <laughs> I them? don't have these. Why do I need them? Well, you should have them. They're, they're uh, a great tool to have in the shop because they take the guesswork out of measuring for setups, setting bit heights and blade heights. You don't have to get your ruler out and eyeball trying to see if you have it right on the mark. mark. <laughs> you know, Which is what I do. Yeah, we've all done that. This is just a way of, of making it foolproof. You don't have to worry about measuring. It's, it's automatically dialed in. Well, I'm already in. Yeah. So what we've got here are these Craig setup bars and there's seven in the set. They range in height from eighth inch to half inch in one sixteenth inch increments. And you can see they've got a number of different areas where you can use them. So there are really three different ways you can put these to use. So I can use these on the table saw to set a blade height? Right, you can use them on a table saw or a router table. I use them on a router table a lot. Okay. But really any, any tool where you need to set a fence to a blade or set the height of the, a blade or a bit. Um, first up, we've got a little indentation on the bottom of each one of these and that it allows you to set a blade height or a bit height. And all you have to do is place it on top of the table of your saw or your router table and then raise your blade or bit until it just contacts the bottom underside of the gauge. Okay. So that's the first thing. That's probably the way I use them most of the time. But then you'll also notice on each block or on each bar, there's a, I guess I call it a finger, just a little arm that sticks out. And that is handy for setting the distance between the fence and the bit or the fence and the blade. And all you have to do is slide that in up against the bit or blade and then move your fence up until it contacts the other side of the bar. Oh, okay, got it. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can tell just by feel whether it, you're up close or not. You don't want to get it too tight, but just sure. close enough that you can slide that in there. Okay. So in addition to setting a fence, I'll use that feature uh, a, a lot of times when I'm doing box joints, because you can set it between the bit and the, the index oh, key. sure, sure. Using. So that's handy. So the third way to use these, if you look on at the top on each bar, there's a tab that sticks out. And that's handy for measuring the depth of a cut or something, oh, know, or a sure. recess that you want to want to measure. Sure. So you can use it that way as well. Well, they look well made, well engineered. Yeah, they're, uh, they're made out of aluminum, so it's soft enough that you don't have to worry about the bars damaging oh. uh, cutting edges sure. or, or nicking the blades right. or anything. So that's handy. Uh, they come in this nice storage case, which keeps them protected so they don't get banged around in uh -huh. a tool, toolbox or anything. And each side is anodized and they're clearly marked with the dimension on the side. So just, just a handy set to have in the shop. Cool. Well, it looks like a nice set. Looks like something I should have in my shop. You should, you should definitely put it oh, on your, okay. your wish list. Oh, okay, I'll be sure and do that. Yeah, you should. You know, we carry these out in the store. You can <laughs> easily buy a set. <laughs> yeah, I don't have an excuse there, no, do I? No, no. <laughs> you can purchase your own set of Craig setup bars by clicking on the link below. And to receive more information on new tools, tips, and techniques, be sure to sign up for our e-notes by going to thewoodsmithstore.com. And just so you don't miss anything, be sure to click on the button below to subscribe to our Woodsmith Store YouTube channel.